Hi guys, welcome back. Yes, this is part four of the preparing for your UK study visa application, the process and everything, everything that you need to know. So in this, um, this is the part four, I'll be talking about the likely questions that you're going to be asked and the kind of answers that you probably need to like prepare ahead of time. Now bear in mind that this interview is for them to know how genuine you are if you are serious about the school and if you truly truly want to study here so i'm your girl richie riches and i'll be right back hey guys welcome back um so number one question that you would likely to be asked is why did you choose to study in the uk why did you choose the UK? Why didn't you go to the United States? Why didn't you go to Australia? Why didn't you go to Canada? Why did you choose the UK? So this is not the opportunity for you to say, oh, of course you chose the UK because of better opportunities. So, but don't just like end there. Practice responding. Practice like, you know, answering the question to suit them. So get probably, you can, you can answer uh, answers because it's closer to home mm -hmm. because it's closer to home because you know you want a place whereby um, you can always like travel back home during the holidays that's a very good answer or uh, probably because they share the same time zone with almost relatively the same time zone with nigeria which is your home country still and you know you want to always communicate with your family so that's like basically an answer you can give Think you can also think about more answers that you can give to that question but don't blabber on. don't don't blabber on you know <laughs> don't blabber on have like notes in your head of you know the answers that you want to give and you'll definitely be fine second question that uh, you likely to be asked is why did you choose the school you should know why you chose that particular school apart from um the league table um details that you usually see online have in-depth reasons probably because of a particular lecturer he talked he talks about a particular subject that interests you and um you know you can also talk about the employment history of the school how that if you graduate from that school um the possibilities of you getting a job you know based on their reputation is high and have your facts and statistics handy so if per venture you, you say 50 percent of the students that have graduated from that department have gone up gone on to receive jobs in a particular sector that you're interested in have that detail handy so why did you choose um, the school the department um why did you choose the course yes why did you choose the course that you're studying um are you just choosing the course because you didn't know what to do with your life and make sure that when you're answering this particular question it conforms to the job market or the job industry that you work, want to work in for example in my case they asked me um why uh, what companies um do you want to like do you see yourself working in work, working in so i responded google and ebony life tv those are two um major companies that i really would like to work in I would like to work as a content creator so have your answers ready and have them tailored to the course that you are studying another question that you likely be asked is where would you like to work okay so that's um i already talked about that so where would you like to work during um after your program okay these are see you don't really have to work there okay but if it's your dream like place of work you can talk about it and you can even go further and talk about why why um why they why you really like that company and all that you okay. get come uh, another likely question they will ask you is have you ever been to the uk now i know some people would if you've been to the uk before please be honest if you have never been also be honest don't go and form what you are not if you've never been say no if you have been say yes okay nobody's going to castrate you if you have traveled to the uk before so be honest be honest as much as possible during the course of your interview you don't want to um the truth is the uk they have all details like they have information regarding i think every single thing that is happening in their country i think their system really works so as much as possible try not to lie about anything because they have your records okay 
So basically, I hope that this series has been helpful to you from preparing your documents to how much you're going to pay to preparing for your interview and likely questions that you would be asked. So thank you very much. I really hope these videos were very helpful to you. I will see you, see you, see you in my next videos. Thank you so much for sticking with me today. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to most importantly subscribe and click that notification bell. You can also check um, my other videos in the description box below and I'm going to put them at the end of this video as well. Thank you so much for sticking with me on a little bit of something today and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.